In this lesson, we'll learn how to add buttons to our applications. This will include plainly styled text buttons, and as well, buttons with custom backgrounds. Let's take a look at the code. We'll add a button to win1 by typing var btn equals, and then we'll call the button creation constructor, titanium.ui.createButton. Open and close parentheses and braces. Now we'll use the, the title property to display text to the user. Push. And as well, we'll set the width and the height of the button. If you don't do this, it'll take up the entire space. Now let's create an event listener for the button. btn.addEventListener. We'll listen for the click event, which is essentially the user tapping the screen on the button. And then we'll create a function to handle the event. Function E, open and close the braces and parentheses. For this lesson, we'll only call an alert. Alert E.source plus start a string was clicked. This will refer to the object that was clicked. And in this case, it's E, which is the button. Now we just need to add button to the window when one dot add btn and save it, head to titanium and launch. Okay, and there's our button and when we press it, we see the alert and it tells us this object button was clicked. Okay, we'll exit the application, and now we will create a custom background. We'll do this by using the background image property. And this is an image located in the project folder. Images blue button dot PNG. You want to make sure to set the height and width exactly to the image size or else it'll get cropped. This image happens to be 100 by 100. We'll save it head to titanium and launch again. Then there's the image. If I press, you'll notice that the image dims out. That is default behavior for the iPhone with um, buttons that don't have a default selected um, background, which we're going to do here in a minute. So if you're creating a custom button and you want to set its normal state and its depressed state, this is how you do it. Okay, so we'll add background selected image colon images and let's actually I'll tell you what, I'm going to switch streams really quickly. Let's do arcade button and arcade button over dot png and comma. This image is a little bit bigger and it already has a title on it. And so these are two images and the images will swap out on press and release. Okay, we'll stop this and recompile. Okay, now if I press, you'll see that the image um, has changed and it looks like a button that is depressed and when I release I get the event handler. So in this case these are two different images, one for its normal state and one for its depressed state. And I created this in, in Photoshop pretty simply just by using the same button and then uh, turning the rotation of the inner circle. It works well enough. So you can see how uh, simple and more complex buttons can be added to your application and as well how you can handle the events 